hi there in this video tutorial I'll show you how to use multiple conditions in an if else block let's write a simple shell script let's specify the shell program that we are going to use as you know echo command will print out a message so let's print this question Now let's use the read command to receive an input from the user via keyboard. We can use hyphen p to present a prompt also at the same time. Now we need to specify a variable that will store the value entered now let's use the if block as we know we need to close any block with the keyword reversed so fi we will use now in this test block let's specify a condition or test as you know the value would be stored in the variable choice let's check for the equality if the value is equal to 1 if that is the case then do this just print this message as you know a user may enter any of these possible values 1 2 3 or 4 so we need more conditions here we will use alif keyword here in some programming languages alif is written as else if or else if but in bash we will use alif it's a single word The value is 2 then do this we can copy paste these lines now and just change the value being compared here this block is complete almost but if a user enters a value which is not one of these digits so we can have a default course of action with the help of the else block
let's write or save and quit let's add the executable permission now let's see how it works as you see the message the question and the possible answers have been printed out and uh, the cursor is staying there waiting for an input and with the help of the read command we have presented this prompt now I'm entering a value the digit 1 and the related message has been printed out and the program has finished execution let's read on the program this time I enter a value let's say 4 as expected we get the result let's run the program again and enter something else this time for example A ok so it says integer expression is expected yeah that's true because when we are comparing here we are using the operator hyphen eq which is expecting a digit or an integer value we can make a test before entering this if block and see if the user has provided a valid input how we can do that we can either map the input as a string and then use this equal sign instead see there are many mechanisms I'm just using one of them and we'll explore more methods or more ways to do this but let's see if this works let's run the program or script again if I enter 1 it works fine if I enter 4 it works fine if I enter 9 again it works fine now let's enter a so again it works fine let's run the program or script again this time I'm not entering any value and I'm hitting the enter key and we see oops please try again you see how multiple conditions we can use in our if else block I'm printing out the source here we have the shebang the shell program is specified at the top we have these five echo statements to present the menu or the question and the possible options or answers and then we have the read command with the hyphen p operator which is optional just in case we want to use a prompt we can just leave this complete section out and use an echo statement just before the read to have the same effect or result and then we have the variable that is used to store whatever input is provided by the user 
and then we have the if section here and we have a test here if it returns true then this block gets executed if it returns a false value then another test is performed and if this test returns a true value then this block gets executed we can have multiple commands here similarly these sections are skipped or executed the else block is a default let's edit the file again and this time we'll have a different approach as you know only one value will make our choice correct so we can also do something like this if the value stored in the variable choice is not equal to 1 then print incorrect else print this message incorrect or oops whatever we would like to display as our message let's see if this works please ignore this double typed let's enter one let's enter four let's enter a so you see we get identical results we have this very simple if else block it is about a logic that we apply to a problem to get to a solution we can have a complex if else block here as we did in the previous example and we can keep it very simple as well so it's a matter of your choice and also how better we can write our script or code but this demonstration is just to show you many ways to do a thing in fact we are not limited to these scenarios or these um, methods there are many more that we will explore in other video tutorials that I will upload so that's all folks thank you very much